Hello friends. Now we are going to show you the video that we have made in our college NITJ, working in various labs of the workshop. Here we are going to give the detailed description of the project that he that we have made. And now the cutting process is currently going on. The actual piece of the dimensions that we need. It's again. Uh, being and this is that the continuation of the same action. The coolant is being uh, spread on the cutting piece so that it may not get overheated. It's a slow process, so you need to control the heat regularly. Now we can see the same from a little bit a distance from the machine. You can see various intelligent mines around it, just seeing whether the work is going on in a proper fashion or not. The cutting portion is about to end now and just in a few seconds the required dimension is about to cut and it has been cut. Now we moving on to the next procedure. We have come to the foundry shop and where we have we are seeing various patterns made of wood. Here we are seeing shovel and our side and there is a planer kept beside it. There is a, uh, again a shovel and there are rammers, the rammers placed in front of us. And now in the cupboard we are seeing various card castings already prepared by our previous students. The various projects that have been made earlier. The cross sections, the castings made of aluminium. Now the zoom view of the castings. Moving on to this section, in this drum we collect the molasses that we will further use. Here we mix the molas with the, uh, the sand. Here the mixture is prepared basically. And now uh, we we are seeing the detachable pattern in this. Uh, we will use these patterns later on. We will show you. Uh, again, these are detachable uh, patterns uh, that we will make use of while making the core inside the casting. Now, these are of wooden shape. They, they are of, these are of uh, metal also and these are made of wood also. The various instruments, machines of the foundry shop you can see. Here we can see shovel and a pan and just by the side there is riddle placed over the raw sand that we have used as the raw material in our foundry shop. Now the parting sand in front of us that we are going to use is the induction furnace. As you can see various meters in front of us that are going to tell about the temperature being reached inside. About 1500 degrees Celsius we can achieve and the melted metal that we get will be used for the casting that will be produced. Now we are going to witness one of the exclusive scenes of electrical circuit in front of you inside the induction furnace. These rare scenes of induction furnace are certainly the best part for the learners watching the video. Now we are removing the pattern with the help of draw spikes which will actually produce the cavity of the required size and dimensions of the casting we require. The process is going on. Slowly, slowly the pattern it has been removed out now. Now we are about to see the crucial stage. Pouring metal from the induction furnace are, is actually is being poured down into the cavity. This process is to be fast and this is being done by the perfectionist or sir as we are seeing. Now we are waiting for the solidification of the casting. In, this, in the solidification phase, the molten metal will take some time to come to the room temperature. Now as the temperature will decrease, the uniform cooling will prevent the blow holes or the defects to come. Now the mold is being dismantled from the casting that we have made. By the use of rammer, the sand is being removed from the casting. As we are seeing the fumes coming out of the casting because the metal is actually hot 
but it has taken the shape now the surface finish that we are seeing it's not appropriate or up to the mark the further machining process will lead to the proper surface finish that we need this by the use of shovel it's being displaced because of it being at higher temperature for the machining process to be done we have come to the machine shop the casting is held by the four jaw chuck the facing operation we are about to perform this operation is performed by our sir who is expert in dealing with such machining operations the drilling process is being continued the drilling we have to uh, see that the center of the drill should coincide with the center of the casting the feed is being given in longitudinal direction and it has been optimized to uh, to such a speed that our drill should not get overheated we have to protect the drill and we want our operation to be safe experienced students are performing the drilling operation for the knowledge to be shared with the viewers the speed of the operation you can see is very slow we will continue the process till we have achieved the depth of the hole the process is about to finish now moving on to the next machining process which is grinding operation which is in front of you now the aim of this operation is to make the sharp edges blunt so that the students may use it without any risk or harm the sharp edges are being removed the ceramic plate is removing and it's being rotated by the motor being run on electricity the ceramic has long life and they have very less wear and tear the process takes some time the basic principle for the operation is the relative motion that is occurring between our specimen and the ceramic disc now moving on to the next operation which is vertical milling operation the feed is in the vertically downward direction the purpose of the operation is to provide a very good surface finish to the specimen the specimen is held in the fixture purpose is always to hold the specimen on which we are to perform our required operation the various parts of the milling machine you are seeing in front of you the process we have done and the rotation of the drill has been stopped coming on to the shaper operation the best thing about it is it again works on slider crank mechanism it is having the feed in two directions the very visible feed that you can see is to and fro motion in the longitudinal direction but slowly slowly the feed is also being given in the radial direction so that the surface finish process that we want can be into the two dimensional surface on the specimen all engineering procedures or operations we have performed and now our specimen is about to complete this last is shaping operation our sbs group thanks to all of our viewers don't hesitate to give your feedback and we will be highly thankful to you